Hi and welcome to Fundamentals of Deep Learning from Analytics Vidya. Let us start with the most obvious question you might have. What is deep learning? And very often people get scared about the complexity of math involved or deep learning itself. So let me try and build an intuitive understanding of deep learning first. The first thing to keep in mind is that deep learning is actually a type of machine learning itself. And as you may know, machine learning is part of a larger field called artificial intelligence. So if you already know fundamentals of machine learning, which is one of the prerequisites of this course, you already know a few things about deep learning. So now let us try and understand how a deep learning algorithm is different from a machine learning algorithm. Let us say you want to build a classifier which looks at an image and classifies the image as cat if it has a cat or not cat if the image does not have a cat. If you were solving this problem using traditional machine learning approach, you will follow a process which is something like this. You will take the image and build a set of features on those image and you will provide these features to your classification model which will provide an output whether it is a cat or not cat. Now in this case the more features you can build or think the better would be your model. Next let us see if we were to build a deep learning model what will happen. So in case of deep learning the model takes care of the feature extraction and classification itself. So in case of deep learning, the model takes the input, figures out the features and performs the classification to provide you with an output. Now the next logical question obviously is that how does the model build these features? And let us understand that through an example. So let us say you want to differentiate between different shapes and you want to detect squares from a set of different shapes. Now what a deep learning algorithm essentially does is that it breaks a complex concept into a hierarchy of simpler concepts. Let me say that again. A deep learning algorithm represents a complex concept through a hierarchy of simpler concepts. So in this case, the complex concept is identifying a square and we break it down to simpler concepts or representations. One way to do this could be to figure out whether this figure has four lines or not. Once we detect whether these four lines exist, we check whether these are closed and perpendicular, which is again a simple task. And finally, we check if all these four lines are equal in length or not, which happens to be a simple task again. So we have taken a complex concept of identifying a square and broken it down into simpler concepts. Now if you think about it, there could be multiple ways to take a complex concept and break it into simpler concepts. So how would a model know what is the right representation? And this is where the beauty of deep learning comes into play. In case of deep learning, the model builds these simple concepts and representations by itself using the training data. Let us see this again by using a more real life example. Let us say you want to build a deep learning model to differentiate between a cat and a dog. Now before going ahead, I would like you to remember that an image is essentially stored as a matrix where each pixel is represented by a few set of numerical values. So how does a deep learning algorithm build up its hierarchy of concepts? So the first thing which it does is it identifies the edges in the image by looking at the changes in values of the colors. Once this representation is learned by the model, it looks at the combination of these edges to build simple features like end of the tail or ears and next it adds these features to build more complex features like eye or tail or ears. Finally, the model adds these complex features to learn whether an image is of a cat or a dog. And depending on whether these features are available in the image or not, the model can decide whether it is actually a cat or a dog. 
And this is how a deep learning model works. So in summary, deep learning is a particular kind of machine learning, which learns to represent the world through nested hierarchy of concepts. And as I mentioned before, deep learning models build these representations by itself. And this is why they typically require huge data and large compute power. We'll see this again in more details later in the course.